Hey guys, I'm James from the Game, and then today we're counting down with our early access of Balthazar Gelt campaign rework. And we have decided to go completely mental and attack um, everyone. Uh, we're taking over the Empire. Alright, we're taking over the Empire with our superpower that is a triumphant homecoming. A fruitful expedition has secured new opportunities between the Empire and Grand Cathay, mostly for Gelt though. In reward, the Golden Order is granted the key to the Empire. And uh, we're not going to use the keys, we're going to smash We're going to smash down the door. When they go, what are you doing? We go, I have a key. And they'll be like, oh, okay, okay thanks. Um, and then they'll follow us for free because we have minus 100% upkeep for all armies for the next 10 turns. And we have extra uh, movement range and building construction is going to be faster and we're getting extra population surplus. No one minds about us trespassing though. We are declaring war on everybody so we'll see how that goes. Though we do have a couple of level ups to do. So I am going to get... Uh, ooh, ooh, I don't know. Hold the line. Sure. That'll help hold the line. And for you, let's up grade. Uh, so we need Earth Blood, I think, because I'm going to need to spam Earth Blood on our heroes every battle to make sure that I can keep attacking things, because our one, like, big hurdle, like, huge flipping hurdle is going to be uh, replenishment, because although we have all of these amazing bonuses, we don't have any replenishment bonuses, and we don't even have a warrior priest in this army, which will probably be the first thing we do when we take Altdorf. We'll try and make a building to get us a warrior priest so Geralt can have some help. So I did declare war um, before I have any movement, basically to be dramatic, but hey, that's all fun. You know, they'll throw armies at us and it'll be easier to conquer when they have no armies. So basically, this is all gravy. All right, let's end the turn and see what they do. Okay, so they went ahead and uh, garrisoned Altdorf, which means Altdorf actually has a pretty feisty garrison now. So this is going to be a bit of a... Ooh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna stink, but let's do it. <laughs> okay, we've started in an unusual position. Um, okay. All right, let's get you guys out that way. Uh, our cavalry. I think we can do what we did last time and throw them at the gates, along with you and. I mean, I suppose everyone on horseback can just go straight for the gates, right? They'll still be able to reach everyone with their spells. Although, sometimes they won't quite be able to reach and they'll get stuck behind everyone, so we'll we'll wait a second. Uh, is that all of our... No, that is not all of our... Alright, our bowmen are cross. So, I think we're sorted. Okay, you go for that. And yeah, you guys just shoot. Go go crazy. Have a great time. Okay, have a great time. Alright. I kind of wish we had a death caster, because then we could just like slowly spirit leech him away. Ooh, that's a nice start. That is a nice start. Let's get these guys on guard mode and give them a choice of targets. I'm a little concerned. Ooh, yeah, no, that works. Yeah, we should be able to hit him quite easily. If not, we'll go for those halberdiers. Uh, I think we're at a pretty good angle. I'm a little worried about these towers, though. I'm a little concerned about them. So, let's run up here. I don't want to lose all of our mortars to that nonsense. So, let's just have our spearmen stand in the way and they can get shot at. That is fine by me. Okay, we should be shooting at them. They're all having a good time. Okay, a bit shy. Okay, here come the rest of the rockets. Oh, right, good news. Hopefully the rest aimed slightly differently, because... Yeah, okay, we hit everything except the help is. Don't worry, we're making it there. We're making it there. Oh, wow, hello. Thank you. Alright, let's, um... Let's hit these guys. This is really nice of them to blob up like this. I would use Zoran's Thunderbolt, but uh, I feel like they're going to move. But now that I've hit them with that, I'm thinking, maybe they won't. Okay, let's get you over here. Come on. I want to get this flock of doom on them. There's just so many blobbed up here. They're just asking to be slaughtered. I mean, all the mortifier on its own is, is pretty um, mortifying. Ah, ah, ah. Get it? Because of the mortars. <laughs> Having a good time. I don't even know, actually. Could you hit? You might be able to hit with that. But look at this. They, those are shattered. 
crazy. We haven't really done much damage to them yet, which is a bit sad. Alright, you know what? Let's make sure we're on these archers. Okay, good. Let's see how this goes. Oh my word. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Alright, now for those crossbowmen. Amazing. Alright, what's next? Uh, I want a convergence on these spearmen, might be a good shout. Oh, he's running. Good. Yeah, I don't think things are going very well for Oldor. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Alright, let's all go for this cross moment. Uh, what's next? I kind of need... Ooh, hello. Hi. Hi there. Hi there, team. Okay, let's, um... Let's hit these guys. Let's pull you guys back. Because sitting there is silly. Lovely stuff. Lovely. You guys are completely stuck in there because this hasn't been taken down yet. Christ. I really wish they would fix that. I really do. Um, you know what? I think this works better. Alright, this is good. This is enjoyable. And yeah, Flock of Doom is a lot safer for our own guys. And that's hilarious. Okay, doing well over there. Uh, the same for those spearmen, I guess? Alright, great swords are doing well. Great swords are doing well. Alright, they have mortars as well somewhere. They're way back here. Ooh, could we get close enough to hit them? Probably not. Probably not. But you never know. Alright, it's already moving. I don't know where they're going. Oh, and good. That is still shooting at those spearmen. That's absolutely fine. Uh, here, though, just asking for lightning, aren't they? They really are. Oh, I can try and get surround on these guys. Yes. Okay. I wonder. I want to hit him again. Uh. I think we just want to save up the lightning. We'll just use lightning every time. Alright, we're going to use it constantly. Now let's move you up. Alright, you guys. Ah, good. Gate's open. Oh my god, you've just been getting shot at by that tower the whole time. Oh, that's frustrating, isn't it? So I guess we don't have control of that tower yet. Alright, more lightning. Lightning fixes everything. I kind of want to hit them too. Alright, let's get stuck in, shall we? Oh, you need to get involved, mate. You need to get involved. Alright, let's hit these halberdiers with some spells. That should help tremendously. You keep taking damage, mate. Uh, we can't quite reach, but I can try and hit those right guards, which would be very funny if I could reach from there. Alright, maybe you try and break through there as well. Okay, good. Okay, more lightning. Fixes everything, guys. Everything. I'm very worried about these guys. I think I do need to heal up our great swords before I lose too many models. We're still on 87. We basically haven't lost any yet. Even though, like, it looks like we have, we actually haven't. That's just a funny joke that our, our, our boys are playing on us. Alright, not enjoying that. Not enjoying that. Alright, more swordsmen are on their way. All right, seems to be doing well over there. And, yep, more lightning. Okay, that's perfect. Thanks. Thanks, team. And if they could mortar some of their own guys as well, that would be... Terrific, thanks. Uh, if those halberdiers break, then we can absolutely get our knights in through the back. Actually, we can go for their mortars, probably. Alright, try and go for this free company. Alright, you pull back. Alright, the night the halberdiers are nearly dead. So yeah, there we go. We broke them anyway. Alright, you guys had a great time. Uh, you keep pushing that way. And let's heal our Amber Wizard. Alright, you're still having a great time. You guys look like having fun. You can shoot them. 
There's some crossbowmen who seem to be facing the wrong way? Uh, these guys too. They're both facing into this area. Oh, because this is all... Yeah, you can't actually get in here. That's really cool that they put that there, actually, because you put a load of range units along here. Really difficult to break into this. Into that box. It's a lot of fun. I'd love to get those mortars. All oh, right, maybe, maybe not. Maybe uh, you go for them still. Um, yeah, I want them cleared out so I get those mortars myself. All right, how are we looking on this front? Oh, we're looking okay. Okay, let's move over here and I'll shoot over top. Um, yeah, don't want the damage we're taking here. Oh, come on. Come on, Hellblaster. Not Hellblaster, the other one. Hellstorms. Come on, Hellstorms. Alright, go for that barricade, perhaps. And let's heal up our wizard again. Alright, keep chasing. Okay, you're very hurt too, which is sad. So we take us some injuries, and that's a problem. Let's pull you back. Let's pull you back. Yeah, I don't like how our Empire Knights are doing. But I am enjoying how this is going. Seems quite good. Alright, let's go kill their Lord. That will probably swing things, frankly. Um, very good range on the uh, on the old lightning. Yeah, let's run back with you. I think these guys can probably probably handle this jump, right? Probably. All right, we still have 22. We did lose a lot of them. We lost a lot of them. That's sad. That's sad. Aw. Yeah, uh, mortar's still going. What a pain. Alright, how are we doing over here? Come on. Come on, mess him up. Mess him up, lads. Mess him up. Alright, let's help out our... Our boy. Alright, how are we doing over here? Eh, not great. Oh, attack him. God damn it. Our mortars are being a real problem. Ooh, that's looking good, though. All right, see if we can hit those mortars. Could you hit those mortars the whole time? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, you don't seem to know how to attack that. How about that? You can attack that, that's fine. I'm astounded that this guy's still alive. Just the sheer number of guys that we've got, you'd think would swing it. Really hoping we'd knacker him, that everyone else would die to army losses. But it doesn't seem like they want to. We are Not just yet. Not just yet. Those rights guard need. Oh, they're rights guard. Oh wow! Not even empire knights. Rights guard. And there we go. There's the army losses. So I was right. Decking their lord with our like gang of wizards did seem to do a good job. So that is a close victory. We've suffered some casualties, but we did just take Altdorf, so that's kind of a big deal. Okay, so Oranen Thunderbolt or Uranen? I never actually thought about um, how it's pronounced. I've always said it's Oranen, but it could be Uranen or something. Um, but anyway, we killed, we killed everyone. Celestial Wizards just crushing it. We got more essays. Everybody's dead. The capital is ours. All hail Emperor. Emperor Supreme Patriarch, an Imperial Homecoming. After an extended period away from the homeland, you have finally returned. Whatever the current state of the Empire, it seems fine. Uh, it is now your duty alongside others who remain here to protect our land's imperial authority enabled. Now that you've returned, it's your responsibility. Yeah, okay. So we have an imperial authority now, which um, doesn't seem to have done anything, but I'm pretty sure we should get a tab. But Oh no, it's this thing. Yeah, okay, it's just this bar that is filled up. So now we are sort of responsible for the place, which is uh, awkward. It talks. So, yeah, we're not going to get the elect counts unlocked until we research them, which I think is a good way to get a bunch of units quickly, even though it's going to cost us a bit. So, uh, if I go Marksman the Empire... Nope. Riders the Empire is what I want, because I want the Bordermen, because they are stupid. 
<laughs> They're real stupid <laughs> and incredible. Uh, and yeah, getting a steam tank would be quite cool too. Uh, Carabo Great Swords are nice. Swords of Ulrich has some good stuff here. But yeah, I think we'd spend a bunch of money unlocking this stuff, which is um, absurd, frankly. I also wonder can we get some bonuses um, against humans? No, it doesn't seem so. That's a shame. But that's okay. Yes, we'll make it work. So, uh, what I want to do now is recruit more characters. Which is pretty funny. Let's go with... Ooh, who should lead? I mean, we can get wizards. That's not a problem. You know, we can get wizards. Uh, Monster Hunter sounds kind of fun. Monster Tracker, extra movement range, sounds more useful in this situation, I think. So we're going to get Huntsman General... And, uh, I guess start with just some spearmen. And some regiments of renown. Okay, we don't have a long, is the problem here. Oh, thank god. Extra casualty replacement rate. That is a big deal. So, Simon Warner, let's get you... Um... More training might be nice, just try and get our guys to perform a little better. Uh, Comet Cast and Dora would be pretty good. Actually, Magical Reserves is probably more important to prioritize, because we do need to fill this up, like, in a big way. Because we need Ready. magic, or none of these guys are going to perform particularly well. we get Transformation of Kadan. Who calls? Uh, and yet, Magical Reserves for you too. So this should be... Yeah, we can get it up to 151. Which is very nice. Is time, very nice I indeed. So now that we've got all that lark done, so we've got some decisions to make. Because test. basically, one big limitation that we have... Wow, that army is nothing. Alright, I think we're going to wipe out... Comet. Yeah, we're going to wipe out Middenland. Uh, Middenheim, for some reason, belongs to the Reichland, which is novel. But yeah, we're going to take Karaburg, because basically, our, our current situation is that we are very limited by recruitment. And recruitment is limited by province. So if we just take over all of the Reichland, we're still only going to be able to recruit a couple per turn. Well, we can get a commandment to get one other, but like by then it'll be like one turn, two turn, three turns at least. Actually, probably from Karaburg to Ubersreich. We do have a big movement bonus, but it can still take us a couple turns to go from Grunberg to Ubersreich. So like this is a lot to travel. That's a lot of turns. Um, that we'll have wasted, and we only have 10, right? So basically what I need to do is have someone like this guy keep recruiting and march to Grunberg, you know, keep recruiting, march to Ubersreich, keep recruiting, march to Eilhart, and then I guess take the fort as well. Um, and we need Gelt to basically just jump into every province and take over a settlement. Uh, might be worth grabbing Marienburg while we're at it, actually. Um, but basically we just need to hop around and grab as many provinces as possible. I think next turn I go for Grunberg with Gelt. So that I can run into Null. Uh, and then we'll be able to get a head start dealing with um, Elspeth von Draken. Because she's going to be a big threat, because she's the only other legendary lord apart from Karl Franz. Uh, but I would like to get rid of Boris, so I think we might have to get Kauderberg and then I'll start heading south. While he carries on recruiting. Alright, so Old Dorf we can uh, upgrade. To tier 2. Annoying that it's still going to take two turns, though, to upgrade, because we are wasting turns. We still only have nine turns left, so. So. Ooh. so, so it's not great, mate. So it's not great. Um, so I can get more recruitment done. Grey Order will allow us to ambush instantly, which I think could be a very good tool for dealing with, like, Carl Brands with a worse army than we have. Um, so that might be worth doing. One big thing with this, by the way that I absolutely adore, is that when you summon your wizard, you can then move them on that turn. And I think that should be the case with all, like, recruitment. I think all lords and heroes, the turn you recruit them, you should be able to move them and take actions with them. Because so often, you'll be like, oh, okay, I really need an agent here in a hurry. You know, because you're about to be under siege or something. And it can just never join the army, or join the siege, or do anything. It just sits outside the town like a lemon. Um, which makes agent recruitment kind of pointless in a lot of... Um, a lot of situations when you kind of want a hero to do heroic things. So anyway, I love that this system circumvents that. I think that's really good. So let's get a Grey Wizard. 
Scorned by some as trickster wizards, the self-proclaimed Grey Guardians work beneath the Veil of Darkness, embracing the energies of Old Goo to cast illusions and sow confusion among their foes. In ventures of conspiracy, subterfuge, and scheming, all is facilitated by the Grey Wind of Magic. And he can join our new army. But brilliant. Uh, let's get Melkoth's Mystifying Miasma. And uh, we're going to go straight into the Penumbral Pendulum because that will help swing um, like a conflict in our favour a huge amount. We have two lines of infantry smashing together. We wipe out their line of infantry. You know, it's, it's dead simple. Alright, I think that is all we can really do at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think something like Call of the Wild, we wait for something scary to show up and then we can use that to sort of... Um, swing things in our favor. We're not going to be able to resurrect for a while. This would be nice to have as well, because um, it's just a massive heal that we can cast on people. A <laughs> big thunderstorm as well. There's just some awesome stuff here. Like, flipping egg. I love it. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the turn. Welcome to Astalia, gentlemen. Um, so, oh, hang on. No, that's a different quest. This is not the one that is zoomed to. This is a different one. But uh, we can get Ulrika Magdova, potentially. So, uh, oh, actually, a big factor with this is having enough money in the treasury. I don't think we'll be able to get tall walls built, though. So they've changed the um, sort of trigger for Ulrika to be tall walls rather than the, like, the Skaven finding building. So I think that's nice. That's a nice change. So the Empire's enemies, both mortal and otherwise, have long sought to topple what Sigmar built. Those who step foot upon Imperial soil find themselves vanquished by the fury of their steel and gunpowder soon enough. Nonetheless, the safety of the populace can never be ignored. There have been reports of mutilated bodies appearing across Sylvanian countryside, a great threat that serves as a timely reminder that we must secure our homeland, which I am doing. Even if it means... fatally. Dude, like, come on. I was just about to read the actual quest that it zoomed to. Like, is this not important? You zoomed me to it. So these advanced horsemen ensure that the enemy's numbers are fewer than intended when battle is finally joined. So we'll get the noble sons of Rord and the Borderman. So, win the following battle, Amulet of Seagold. A number of strange incidents have occurred within the Empire of late. Tombs have been desecrated and libraries have been broken into. The Emperor's spies report that the intrusions are connected to a magical amulet, believed to have been buried in the tomb of a powerful lord centuries ago. Geralt's investigations eventually lead him to the location in distant Astalia, as he leads his uh, men beneath a rough stone lintel of an ancient barrow mound, shadows crowd in upon him, dimming even the light emanating from his raised staff. Ominous sounds echo in the gloom. Bone on stone, pitted blade on rusted scabbard. It seems that the loyalty of this buried king's ancient retainers remains firm, even in death. Dun dun dun. And, uh, yeah, okay, win battles with heroes. Fine, we're already on eight. We'll have that soon enough. So, plenty of quests to do. But, Carl Franz is here. And he's suffering a bunch of attrition. I think we go for this first. Uh, I don't know where Boris has gone. Um, oh, Middenstag is back in Boris's hands. What? That's annoying. I was really hoping we'd wipe out Boris's faction. Huntsman General. It's a pain. Uh, I also really like these units for Boris. Equipment share. Not for Boris, for Balthazar. Um, so we're going to swap them over. Ready. You're going to get these two because they're better. I mean, Noble Sons of are fine. You know, they're better than the the normal pistoliers. And then we have the Bordenmen that just kill everything with missiles. They're great. Um, so attack Katterberg. You can run over here, hopefully. Uh, ooh, okay. There's another guy there. Huntsman General. Who can seemingly just about reach us. But maybe not now. Not possible. Maybe not now. So let's get some more troops. Uh, let's go with... A couple of swordsmen. Now, sure. So, Gelt, do I take Karaburg? Or do I try and lie an ambush over here for Karl? We do need to take over as much territory as possible, as quickly as possible. So, more war it is. Boris may attack us, but I don't think he's really got much going on. Uh, low casualties, I'll take it, even though I probably should fight every battle. 
Uh, I could loot an occupant out to get the unit replenishment. We'll still be able to recruit, and that's the only reason I took this area. So we could recruit some more. So, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Um, monster Hunter, more aggressive. Could go for an Arch Lecter as well. That is an option. Um, sure. Oh, okay, I don't know they were suffering attrition already, but it is what it is, I suppose. Let's get you... I think we might just go with nothing but archers. Because that is a sort of old cheat, frankly. Um, ranged units tend to do better in auto-resolve, and I don't want to fight all of these battles. So, just getting him a bunch of archers to run at enemies that might serve us better. Uh, all of his unique stuff is pretty good. Extra recruit rank for battle wizards is kind of a big deal. Let's grab that. Because I'm about to get another one. What don't we have? We don't have a fire wizard. Let's get a bright wizard. Ready to burn them. So, embracing the raging flame of Akshai, the pyromancers that channel the red wind of magic burn a path through the, uh, through the enemies of the Empire. Destructive and violent, the bright wizard's fires can be summoned as a searing ball of flame or wielded as a flaming sword that slashes out at the Emperor's foes. Summon speed, so, of the faith. no, no, you on level. Sigma. Uh, so fireball, that's classic. Uh, burning head again, that can clear out whole areas and will make everyone weaker to that fire. And yeah, ask him more burning head. We'll just we'll go all in on that. It is time. Um, do I also want to get Sterling's revenge for him or him? I you think this guy lands. is going to get Sterling's revenge because this is definitely an army that can probably start grabbing some territory on his own, which I think is more important. So. Uh, now let's see. Comet Cassandora, we'll level that up again. You me. And God, I really want to get Kettle's Call. Cool. Just having the extra units is going to be really powerful. Um, Transformation Kadan again, why not? Cool. Okay. <laughs> I the fact we have three armies right now. Just going all in on recruitment. So we have actually been spending quite a lot of money, though. But I think getting more of these units unlocked is a good idea. Uh, the Knights of Moor, Knights of the Everlasting Light, and Stubborn Bulls is pretty awesome. That, to me, feels so much more impressive than just getting, like, a, a couple of swordsmen. I know it's Karaburg great swords, but still. Uh, Marksman of the Empire for the Sturb of the Patrol and Gunman Surefires. Knights of the Empire just seems like, obviously... The best value there. Rides of the Empire, though, for the Ball of because they're just, um, frankly, they're cheating. I love them. Uh, they are amazing. All right. I also want to have a look. Yes. Uh, right. Marienburg love us right now, which is very funny. Celestial and we can trade. We lost all of our trade. Interesting. All right, let's start trading again with these guys. It is good to see my scrub. Okay, excellent. You too. Excellent. Alright, Cathay are bankrolling us. I don't think they realise that we are completely undermining um, the Empire. And probably feeding chaos tremendously. But hey, it's fine. You know. it's uh, We're doing it for the lols. Okay, so we've got some more research. So I can just, I can just get all of the um, cavalry here. Although, I think I might do that. Never. Ah, he ran from Ubersreich over to here. Never. That is clever. Impossible. That is that is clever. Is this clever? I cannot. Ooh, we don't know, actually. Grandberg doesn't have a huge army. Ubersreich does have the Ubersreich 4 or 5, whatever. Um, so that's kind of fun. So I can get some pots, that'd be pretty wild. But I think what we might need to do is get some walls on this thing. But that almost feels like the clever move. And I don't think we want to be clever. I think we want to be a bit mad. So I'm going to upgrade that so we can get halberdiers. And I think we're going to get a gunsmith. Oh, actually, no, we need to try to Sigmar, obviously. Uh, we need to prioritize that. Okay, so do I want a bunch of free company? Or mortars. I feel like mortars. I feel like the siege, like siege, is going to be a problem. We're going to need to be able to have siege attacker in all of our armies, or we're just going to hit like null, and it's going to go. No, there's walls here. You're going to have to waste a turn. 
building a ram, and that'll allow something else to come in and stop us, which we can't have. Uh, one thing I can do, though, for Bonner Schaefer here... Oh my god, we're just getting so much random stuff. Okay, thank you. Um, one thing we can do, though... God, I can't afford any of that anymore. Ugh, it's getting a little scary. Spell resistant ward save, I like. Uh, extra winter magic power reserve, I like a lot. And recruit rank, even higher. Uh, that's pretty great. But one thing I can do is get even more wizards. We don't have a death caster yet, or a light caster. Those are the two that we're missing. So barrier for everyone, or damage all enemies within a region. That's very cool. Uh, oh, I'd have, to, I'd have to have him go over there and run this way. Uh, either way, I won't be able to get here in time. Well, I might be able to if I go here, but I might not. It looks like we're fine. It looks like we're fine. We have crazy high range. So the Amethyst Order, drawing power from the residual Shaish surrounding the deceased, a practitioner of the Purple Wind of Magic, exists with one foot in the mortal realm and the other in the beyond. Though frequently found commute, uh, communing with spirits and wielding power over the dead, the brethren uh, take care not to stray to the realms of true necromancy. Because that's naughty. Trinkets mustn't go mustn't necromance. Huntsman General! Okay. Huntsman General! Yes, Huntsman General. Hi. Our right, reverse spell leeching. Uh, Doom of Darkness is great just to nuke someone's leadership. If it looks like a fight's lasting a little too long, you can just go, you know, boom, you're running away now. Weapons at the ready. So, come here, you. Valiant defeat high casualties. I disagree, because we have a bunch of cavalry, and I'm pretty sure it is a open field battle. So, yeah, our cavalry are going to just swing this completely in our favor. All right. So, uh, the stubborn bulls are really nice. They've got, uh, they're basically like Empire's questing knights. They have uh, great swords on horseback. And yeah, they're just really good armor piercing. Really nice like that. The Knights of Moor cause terror because they are actually um, uh, uh, Moor being the god of death. So the fact we have an amethyst wizard is actually pretty cool. Um, and the Knights of Everlasting Light, uh, their thing is they have this minus eight melee attack aura, which is really, really nice. So yeah, they're all pretty cool. They're all pretty damn cool. I am a fan. There's a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. But I think we'll probably be okay. I, j I base this on little. Um. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a lot of ranged units. We've got two pistoliers as well. Which, um... Yeah, I suppose I can just throw to one side for now. Alright, so annoyingly they have artillery. So I feel like I do need to go to them. Uh, which is annoying. Obviously. I'm gonna try... and swing around. Oh yeah, let's go to them. Uh, Alright, what is the plan? So I do have Penumbral Pendulum. So as soon as the front line is engaged, I can just hit everything down one side. Which would be uh, obviously pretty great. Obviously pretty great. I'm getting to those mortars nice and quickly. If they do mess themselves up too much, I might be able to pen like, pendulum them, which is annoying. Oh, we can try and hit that guy. His Empire Knights are going to be a bit stubborn, but we do have the stubborn bulls that are more stubborn, so that is useful. Yeah, mortars start to shoot. Which is a pain. Genuine bother, that. Genuine bother. Uh, oh, it's Pistoliers. There's the Empire Knights. Damn. For the Emperor! Alright, let's just put on skirmish mode, even though that's sort of uh, trash. Yeah, these guys are horseback or anything yet. Oh, we're taking big damage on the swordsman already. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah, free company militia being a pain. Alright, everyone pull back. Nice, you're taking your time, aren't you? Uh, I could probably get those spearmen, you know. Oh my god, really? Mortars shooting this way? How the hell are you this bad? 
That's just skirmish mode, throwing them off in stupid directions. I always give skirmish mode a go. I'm like, it's, it can't be as bad as I always think it is. And then it is, every time. <laughs> every time. Every time. Alright. Get rid of those spearmen. Alright, you guys are all going to get stuck in. Alright, let's deal with these guys. Uh, you can start shooting at them. Uh, so yeah, that collapse on those spearmen has worked out great. Let's shoot you. Alright, you're suffering quite a bit. Where is my... There he is. There he is. Alright, let's hit them. Alright, let's bring you guys this way. Oh, okay. Pistol are trying to hit us. Uh, so, big, big damage there. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Alright, how are we doing over here? Alright, let's chase them down. We have units fleeing, which I'm not happy about. Not happy about one bit. I'm not happy about him there, either. Alright, let's pull you guys back. And uh, they are coming for him. Which I'm not happy about. Oh, come on. I need another pendulum here. I needed it here yesterday. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because look at that, that's so juicy. Alright, come on. Let's get you over here. I really did let myself get wrapped up in that fight for far too long. Far too long. Come on. Come on. Alright, what are you guys having fun? That's what matters. Alright, charge that way, please. Now we dealt with him. You guys can run. Not a problem. And yeah, he's done well. Very good. Alright, let's charge that way. Let's step that way again. Come on, man. What are you playing at? Alright, so that's collapsed really nicely. Alright, shoot him, please. Okay, now you guys can pull out of that fight. Alright, let's pull you back. Okay, you can charge into this group. You can charge into here. And you guys. Oh, you are back again, are you? Christ. It's okay. We're about to break all these guys. Yeah, we saw it. Uh, so we can't really do much, so I'll just hit them. Alright, come on. Come on. Bring over here. Maze, they haven't broken yet. Alright, how are we looking? You keep chasing them. You can chase them down. Uh, our shadow cast is pretty miserable, but he's doing okay. Uh, how did you guys end up in there? I have no idea. No clue. Okay, let's pull you guys back that way. Let's have you run into there. And, oh, yeah, Arch is dead. And everyone breaks. Alright, there we go. God, our cavalry got really stuck on a few bits there, but, uh, you know, we did it. We broke them. Perfect victory. Beautiful. Really good stuff. And Seed of Rebirth. Very handy to have. Very handy. That gives you regeneration. That's really good. That's really going to help us out. And, yeah, I did say our cavalry were going to beat everyone. And they did. They did win that for us. So we've got a messenger as well, we've got the Seed of Rebirth. I don't know if it should be on him, what does the bid? honestly, but I think it'll have to do. Uh, let's get you Root March and Inspiring Presence. Equipment check. Our Grey Wizard. Let's get Penumbral Pendulum so we've got a better cooldown. We'll make it cheaper too, because that is something we're going to be relying on General. a ludicrous amount. Um, you know, Soul Blight might not be a bad idea either. Does lower armor and a lot of damage as well. It's an area of effect. So that might be quite good to keep the enemies at bay 
while we prepare to recharge them, because we did have some delays in that previous battle. That did cost us. Yeah, let's get Soul Bloat. I think that could be handy. Okay, good. Now, let's get some free company militia. We've always got a full stack. It's pretty great. Uh, now, Gelt. I mean, this is annoying. That's, that's a pain. Okay, Simon Warner. Let's get you Foe Seeker, and I'm actually going to give you the Seed of Rebirth. Because I want him to get into combat. Let's get Hedge Wizard so we have higher reserves. Amazing. Uh, we have terrible reserves right now. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Now let's get, so I'll get Dwellers Below. Uh, Recrafts might be more useful for us at the moment because that'll allow us to get our heroes healed up in a big way. So yeah, I think we need to head towards Middenheim. So yeah, Weissmund, I don't think, yeah, has no garrison, so that's nice and easy. Uh, hopefully. Ready to serve. Uh, next you off. Summon me. I want to check. Can I get Very enchanted well, stance and then attack? Will and will it carry over? Because I have seen it happen. Okay, it didn't. It's it not supposed time. to, but it, it can. Absolutely not. True servant of Sigma. I think there was a bug at I one point. For Sigma. Uh, so, Weissmund, I can upgrade and we'll try and get Caterberg. Um, in a better spot. We are running out of money again. Um, how many turns we got? Seven more turns. We've still got ages. And we're also getting big uh, hero capacity bonuses, which is funny. Alright. Yeah. More archers. Okay, and then Sir. this guy can probably keep recruiting, keep moving through this area. Uber's right is going to be a bit of a problem with all of those heroes. But I don't know how much of an impact they're going to have. Not sure. Um, one thing that's a bit sad, though, we can't rely on technology to unlock us more units because of all the money we spent. But I do like the idea of getting more Winds of Magic Power Reserve. We just need to have more power in the battery or else our wizards are going to be useless. Which is a problem. I'm trying to move quickly and also have time to channel. Those, those are mutually exclusive, sadly. But hey, we'll manage it. Um, but yeah, so I think this is where we're going to leave off for today. Uh, we have Boris and Carl Franz, both really close to us. Carl Franz actually doesn't have a huge amount going for him right now. If he does attack us, which he probably will, he probably will, I think we can take him down pretty easily. Like, huge blocks of infantry aren't going to work particularly well against the sort of army we're packing. Oh my god, and with the border men as well. Never. Yeah, Caraberg greatswords are going to get melted in seconds. Um, the archers and handgunners, we can just sort of harass with the Sunmaker, which they will absolutely be trying to avoid. And then uh, mortars can just chip away at all of this stuff. Same with our spells. Yeah, Carl Franz has no hope. So we should be able to take over all this stuff. Uh, currently, Boris Toddbringer is at war with the Orcs, so they might be attacking him in a minute. Um, so yeah, good, good news for us, sort of. I also really want to take Nalm so I can get more recruitment unlocked. But, uh... Elspeth von Draken versus this concerns me a little bit. That is a third army, uh, a third war we're opening up. It might still be worth it, you know. It might actually still be worthwhile. I could load up on Global, just spend an extra turn replenishing with, uh, Boris Nafner, and then take none. Work to do. That would really limit... Elspeth von Draken's faction and help us sweep through a bit more easily, I think. And this stuff, probably need another army to deal with it. As soon as he leaves this area, I can summon another army. In fact, Curtis Voldorf isn't doing anything. What? Because uh, Boris is busy over here, so actually. What? I could move here and recruit, because that is technically in the Reichland. Following Sigmar's path. So yeah, I can just stand here and recruit instead. Honored to serve. So let's see. Uh, only from Global. Wait, what? What's in front? Oh, because that's part of Eilhart, not part of Altdorf. Oh, I serve sod it. Hammer. That's a pain. That's a pain. Who's in Eilhart? Probably a bit too much with this army. Orders. Without me being able to get anything else. I don't know why I thought that was part of Altdorf, not um, Eilhart. It was worth trying. Let's move back to Caribou.
We'll do more recruitment here. Because we're not recruiting anything else here, so... Still. That is sad. I was I was hoping we could really get close to Isleheart and attack from the other side. And uh, that would give yes. Boris an opportunity to go there, and I'd still have armies at every um, border, which I think would have worked out quite well. But that's okay. I'll, I'll take a step back and then back around, I think. We'll make it work. Um, so yeah, Boris Schaefer. I think we are going to rely on global. So we get another free company. And a couple more spearmen. I can only afford one. My god, we are skinned. Well, I don't need to hire that yet, so we'll get a couple more spearmen. And then next turn I'll have the money for the free company. Which aren't actually free, for some reason. Uh, that upkeep of minus 100%, that doesn't take into account supply lines. So we're, at, we're actually paying 8% of the cost of all of our armies. Which is interesting. So, anyway. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. I was going to end the episode five minutes ago, but then I got distracted. Guys, we're nailing it. I think we're going to take over quite a lot of the Empire in ten turns. Certainly the enemy, like our enemies, our firm friends, the rest of the Imperial, you know, Elector Counts, uh, they're making it easy for us. So, fingers crossed, we're going to make quite a dent in uh, in the Empire and take it over pretty quickly. I'm... I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are too. If you are, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Let us begin.